What's up YouTube, that's all beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, today I'm talking about the retrospective recording, right? And I'm gonna show you why I like it and you know what I mean just go over it a little bit what it is and why I like it and this is the button right here so if you don't see this button right here to get this button some people don't have it like showing up but if you don't have it and you want it I'm gonna show you how to get it you'll come over here and go to view um, toolbar and then go to uh where is that show retrospective record just make sure that's ticked all right and then you'll see it right here now another thing is to get this view that I'm on right here you go to view workspace in advance and you'll get everything that you need on the side and you can add a little bit more if you want all right so if you don't have those activated go ahead and activate them and I'll see you after the intro let's go All right, so we back now. So the retrospect record is 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 fire, man. Because if you say you play something on a pad and you forgot what you played, you just hit this button and it will put it right there in the spot, or it will move it all the way over to this far, whatever you've been playing the whole time, right? So that's what I was playing earlier before I turned the camera on. You don't even need a a, a drum program in there for you to do it so once the play head is at start and you could just hit anything you just so let's just come up with a with a with a with a um tempo yeah. all right 102 let's do 100 so you could you could just turn your 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 your, your metronome on hit play so you can hear your metronome and then you just um just start jamming so, cuz notice is grayed out right now right if i hit one button notice the light came on so now if i hit this button that one note that i just hit would appear right there all right so let's delete that and let's just play the metronome just feel the metronome when it come back around then we'll start just lay just a drum and maybe a, a clap Right, and then we can just add our drum or a clap or anything. Alright, so see, we, I did that. I didn't have a sound or nothing. If I hit the retrospective, it put it right in there for me. That's the last thing I, I, I played. Even if I don't hit record, the NPC is capturing it. Alright, so that's what the retrospective recording do. So if you got your, got a melody going and you played something and you be like, dang, I forgot what I played. All you got to do is hit that retrospective button. And once you hit that, it'll bring up the last stuff that you played. And once it bring up the last stuff you played, then it'll go empty and wait for you to hit something again. And then it will record that. Right? So now let's just add a um let's just add a sound to it. Alright, let's add this one. Now once we put play, you hear the drum. Let's add a snare and then we'll hear everything that we played. Because I was only using pad one and two. So let's go. Now, say I want to add a hi hat to it, right? I normally put my hi hat on pad four. So while that's playing, I can play that. 
on the on the without even adding an actual sound to it. Let's go. We're gonna start on the five. So if we stop that and bring our playhead back to here and then hit retrospect, see it put it right there for me. Simple like that, man. That's it. That's why I like that retrospect. All right. So we could take this and bring it because remember, I started on the five. That's why I put the line back on the five because I started on the five. So let's hold all and drag to the front. Now let's find a hi-hat and put it on there. Let's do that. All right, now let's do one more with an instrument. Let's do Vacuum Pro, something I haven't used in a minute. So let's go. You just gonna find something to go with it. Say I, I was like, dang, what was that that I just played? All I got to do is hit shift stop, then go to retro. Now look how long this is. It this is. So the last thing that I played was right here. So you, it started from where I first played to where I last played. So you know where you at. You could say to yourself that that the one that I first played is back here and the one that I last played is right here so we're going to take the one that we last played these right here is the ones that we last played so I'll take it from just these two and bring it all the way back to the front all right hold on let me let me let me redo that so I can know which note that I started on a1 right so we bring it back a1 this note got to be on a1 so what i could do is delete the rest of these oh man that wasn't the, the last one that was the first in the first half i'm sorry let's go back all the way to the end here we go right here these are the last ones that i did so i like to look for the one that start on like a uh, on a bar and one that ends before the bar starts. So these two, I know these two would be we would be good. So we copy this. And what's this? B3. Control V. And then now we can delete the rest of the stuff down here. Alright. So once we have that. I know this right here will be fine because that's what I played and that's what I wanted. So we just double it. And let's listen. So that was just a little tutorial on the retrospect um, record button. All right. So I'm going to leave it off for there right now. 
If this is your first time to the channel, it's always welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all right? So that right there was just a quick tutorial. Um, I haven't seen a lot of people really talk about it, so that's why I did the video. But, yeah, that's it, man. All right? See you in the next one. Let's get it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Tony up!